I truly think that if the church is going to get out into the world and make a better place of it, especially for the youth, that they're going to have to offer something to the youth. I believe that what we have here is an excellent beginning. Imagine if you were just taking us to Pizza Hut. <laughs> Like, All right, take away pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to tell the story? Which story? Well, once upon a time, there was like a man. He met, um, he saw like this girl on the beach who was like the most beautiful girl that he had ever seen. They got married, they moved to Australia, they had kids. A boy, his name was Joel Houston. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> names until Joel Houston. Long story short, Ryan and Bobby Houston got married, had Joel, Ben and Laura. I'm Laura. <laughs> so for me, growing up in church, growing up in our youth ministry, now I'm a youth pastor. And I just noticed, you know, there's so many like young, young people, like kids who just have all this gift and all this talent. Um, that's obviously God-given. Um, I have been taking photos ever since um, I got my first phone. capturing moments and seeing people's reactions when they see that their favourite moment's been captured. is chiseled over here. Um, he's not really here that often. Um, this is this is Laura. Um, this is where we did a lot of our writing before. You just write in that spot just there. We used to write right there. There was a whole setup. That's my mum and dad when they were 15. Um, and this is like kind of the hangout room. And um, I think that's it. Great. Well, um, it's been a pleasure. Well, you turned up on a special... Actually, it's like there's every Friday night, isn't it, here at Hillsong Youth? I only went to youth because of a girl. <laughs> just this girl that I like, so I, I found out that she was going. So I was like, man, I'm in. I am going. And it was just different from, from what I was used to, from, from the attention that I was used to getting. And there was just such a different culture and youth to what I was used to. It really shocked me in a good way. And 
young and free. She is young and free. Um, so I grew up in a Christian family. Um, my parents are pastors, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they do, but they're in church. Youth is crazy fun. Like, okay, you get there and you pretty much know everyone. Like, you get complimented like 20 times a minute. Like, seriously, they're the, the kindest people ever. They feel like your brothers and sisters. And, um, and now that I've got like kids from my school, it's kind of like both areas in my life are a part of church now. You know, if we can create an environment where young people can come and encounter the presence of Jesus and their lives can be changed, then, you know, that we're doing our jobs, you know. I'm just really passionate about it. I'm passionate about a, a youth generation who, like, can stand, stand strong and live this message of, of, of freedom. I just remember being at the back and it was just like the, the weight of the world just came off my shoulders. And it was just such an amazing uh, like experience. And it was, it was such a first in my life. And everything from that point just changed. And now as a leader at G, it's, it's awesome because it, it's just such a massive opportunity to, to build into the next generation. And, and just seeing kids, kids these days just partying and, and you know, just, just the culture that is now in, in our youth, it, it's just so heartbreaking for me. And I really want to change that. And, and I, I feel like for me, one of the ways that I changed that is by leading a connect group, by sewing into these boys, by seeing them change. Well, I mean, I've always like, loved music, and I think music's always been what I wanted to do. And I remember trying to pursue like a band, like kind of that wasn't, we weren't singing about Jesus, but whatever, we're all Christians, but it kind of just never felt right. And I think for me, like, like whether how hard I tried to write music that wasn't, for Jesus, like I would always just get kind of like pushed back to writing music about him. I think for worship for me has been like honestly one of the things that has like kept me in love with Jesus because it's so different and every time like I think the way you write a song as well is like it's so like you have to just be open to what he wants to do and it's just like him like kind of talking through it's kind of so different than trying to like strive for a song that's not about him.
essentially, Young and Free is our youth ministry. It's what God's doing in, in the current youth generation of, of our church. Generally, like young people across, across the earth are like probably more than any other generation that have gone before are like are needing a, a relevant message. And, um, and so I think Young and Free, it, it, it's a message that young people can identify with, not, not in a like, you know, I'll do whatever I want, you only live once kind of attitude, but um, freedom that is like the most truest and most genuine, and that is freedom that is found in Jesus. Because this is probably one of the final days. I think this is probably one of the last days I'll actually come to the studio. So, especially the long drives from my house to the studio have become. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> <laughs> from these donuts. And then, but this room has now become the vocal room. So, like this is where we record vocals. So, pretty much you stand here and you just put these on. writing songs of praise and like of praise and worship but I guess excitement and joy that was found in God and I remember Pappas one of the guys I think he's a city worship pastor now um, oh, for, for youth and um, <laughs> we like got together and we're like hey let's just let's just try and write for Encounter Fest and see what we can like come up with and um, so I went over to his house and we just kind of like playing around ideas with each other and we came up with this song alive and at the time it was like um, quite like we kind of like wrote it on acoustic and it was like we like we didn't know what it was gonna sound like but we're like oh whatever and so we made like a basic little like logic track for it which sounded so bad you are alive in us nothing can take your place you are all we need your love has set me free oh, oh, oh. so we showed it to this guy called Joel Davies who um makes tracks and stuff and we gave him the song like with our little bad logic demo and then he made it this like amazing sort of dance thing and it was like so different like it's something we hadn't done before and Pabst and I were like pretty keen anyways <laughs> we sent it to Laura and like I remember I was like walking up to my auntie's house to mow the lawn and I was just like walking up the hill like pushing this lawn mower and then like I get this like message and it's Laura I'm like, oh Laura never texts me let me see what's happening and then she's like oh my gosh this song is amazing I'm like dancing around my kitchen or something I was like oh that's awesome but then we did it like we did it in Counterfest and it just went off like the kids were like going mental you are alive you are alive in us nothing can take you
that song kind of happened, it was like, we actually knew the direction that we wanted to go. Like, yeah, there was like, there was just a shift. There was a shift in our youth ministry. Like, we had like found our sound. We had found like who we are. And I remember that song playing for the very first time and just like looking out and there really was like, like an atmosphere of like, of freedom. Like young people were dancing and jumping and just having fun. Summer camp is like, it's like one of those things that you can't describe like unless you're there. I think there's just something really special about like when young people set apart a whole week to just get together, have fun, but just are passionate about meeting with God. And so for us, you know, I remember like talking about, oh, you know, we should record an album. Maybe we could, you know, hire out a venue or maybe we could do it at youth on a Friday night. It just felt right that, that we would do it at summer camp. After summer camp, we wrote more and more songs, and so um, we wanted to record them and we wanted them to be a part of the album. And so we thought, let's just gather our whole youth from across the city together on a Friday night. We put it out there and it ended up being the, the biggest youth night that we've ever seen. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm Laura Thomas. I'm Tyler Douglas. And we're backstage at our rehearsal. At our rehearsals. I think we should just have a quick look. What do okay, you I reckon we should. Let's go. Right now we're entering. Whoa. That is when you're in ten o'clock. Well, we're about to start rehearsal. One of the lyrics of the songs isn't finished yet, which is, I, I don't know which one it is yet, but I hope it's not the one I've done. <laughs> I'm just so nervous though. We don't have long, we started in like, the doors open in two hours, two and a half hours, and we haven't set up or done anything yet, so. <laughs> I feel like it was just such a cool thing and just to see kids go crazy for God and sing to the new song. The lights went down and then um, Taya started singing um, the first song and it was an atmosphere that is unlike anything that I've ever been a part of before.
is our story and it's the reality of, of you know what we're seeing like in our youth you know we don't know what the future holds and we don't know what God is gonna gonna do with it but we're believing that that he's gonna um, reveal himself to people and that young people old people or whoever um, will find him will find Jesus because of it and find the freedom that is found you know it's only found in Jesus